the future. The star went supernova. This is the Osmo Action 2, and look at how small it is compared to a traditional action camera. And because it is so small, this tiny unit not only houses the battery, the camera sensor, which is larger than the Osmo Action 1, by the way, if you can believe it, and it also houses the OLED touchscreen. And because of that, it is creating a bit of problem for this camera. It tends to overheat when you're shooting in 4K, and it can get up to temperatures of as high as 56 degrees Celsius. And according to medical professionals, if you were to be holding this Osmo Action 2 when it's at 56 degrees Celsius for longer than 15 seconds, you're looking at a third degree burn. <laughs> now, DJI has released a firmware update to address this problem. So let's find out if it makes any difference. So for this test, we shot 4K in 120, 60 and 30 frames per second and we used a Flow One camera to measure the surface temperature. Now there is an option on the Osmo Action 2 that will increase its recording time and that's by changing the auto stop temperature from standard to high and by doing this, it tells the Osmo Action 2 to stop recording when the camera temperature hits 56 degrees Celsius instead of 50 degrees. And like I've just mentioned, if you're going to be wearing this camera, why would you risk a third degree burn? Which is why all these tests were set to stop recording at the standard temperature of 50 degrees. So before the firmware updates, these were the results that we captured. 4K at 120 frames, stopped recording at 4 minutes and 42 seconds. 4K at 60, stopped at 7 minutes and 6 seconds. 4K at 30, stopped at 11 minutes and 5 seconds. And after the firmware updates, these were the results. And as you can see, there is an extra 30 seconds for 4K at 120, an extra 41 seconds for 4K at 60 frames, and 4K at 30 frames got the most improvements from this update, with an extra 3 minutes and 14 seconds. Look, I think shooting 4K at 120 frames is not a typical frame rate that you'll want to be shooting in constantly. 120 frames is normally reserved for when you want to slow a footage down to dramatize the action. And being able to do it in the glory of 4K lets you preserve all that detail in your video. But unfortunately, it will take up some storage space. Now, the Osmo Action 2 is primarily designed to be used outdoors. Its metal frame dissipates heat very quickly. And if you use it in a place where there is a lot of airflow, we think it will even get you an even longer recording time. And in this test, we've strapped the Osmo Action 2 on a DJI FPV. And we've managed to shoot 4K at 60 frames with over 18 minutes worth of recording time. So as long as there is airflow over the Osmo Action 2, it can sustain a longer recording time on higher frame rates without overheating. Now, if you were thinking of vlogging with this camera, I think 4K at 30 frames with a 14 minute time limit is plenty of time to talk to your audience. Alternatively, you can switch it to 2.7K resolution and you'll get almost 40 minutes of non-stop recording time, even when it's stagnant in a closed studio. And that's pretty good considering that the battery will only last 50 minutes. So has the firmware update helped? Yes, but only a little bit. The 4K at 30 frames had the most improvements with an additional 3 minutes worth of recording time. Look, if having a longer recording time in 4K at 120 or 60 is important to you, there are a lot more options and larger cameras out there that won't overheat. The GoPro Hero 10 is also having problems managing heat at such a high frame rate. But if you're looking for a tiny camera that can be placed almost anywhere and is very discreet, and it also shoots 4K at very high frame rates, albeit four to five minutes at a time, the Osmo Action 2 is it. Alternatively, there is the Insta360 GO 2, which is an even smaller camera, but it only shoots up to 2.5K. So we hope this video has been helpful. And if it is, please do give us a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing so you can stay tuned for more videos like these. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.